Well, now that we know how to find derivatives of logs, I don't know if you remember, but if you learn with your exponential functions, you had a change of base formula for your exponential functions where you could do a to the x is e natural log of a to the x. Okay, so let's think about doing this. If we did the derivative with respect to x of e to the natural log of a, where a is number here, times x, well, we would just use the chain rule here. And so we would copy and paste. That would be e to the natural log of a of x, or times x, times the derivative of the natural log of ax. Well, natural log of a is a constant, so the derivative of natural log of ax is simply the natural log of a. And then if you back substitute, this is really a to the x times the natural log of a. So now that we have the chain rule, we're able to find the derivative of a to the x rather than just e to the x. So what is the derivative of a to the x? It's copy and paste, but then you need to multiply it times the natural log of the base, and that comes from using the change of base formula, okay? So they also did the change of base formula for the log base a of x, well, the log base a of x is 1 over the natural log of a times the natural log of x. So if I take the derivative of this, it would be 1 over natural log of a times the 1 over x. So we have very, very similar rules for logarithms, whether it has a base of e or not. So here's four more rules that you need to memorize. Yes, I know it's overwhelming, but that's, that's what is overwhelming about calc, is the number of rules you have to memorize. And I want you to know that technically these rules aren't too new. The only thing you're doing is multiplying times the natural log of a. Okay, so if, if you take the derivative of e to the x, it's e to the x. If you take the derivative of 2 to the x, it's 2 to the x times the natural log of 2. So the only thing new in all of these formulas is you just multiply by the natural log of the base. It's literally nothing new. Everything's the same. For an exponential function, copy and paste, multiply times the derivative of the top. For a log function, 1 over what you see times the derivative of what you see, right? The only new aspect is multiplying times the natural log of a.